how you doing guys? I hope you've got rid of your hangover from the other night. I don't know how bad my hangover is yet. Because I'm actually recording this New Year's Eve. Because before I go out tonight, I've got to get a load of shit done. And you know what? I've missed this. It's been a week since I recorded a video and I really miss it. I've been sat on the bike talking to myself. Because it's just pure habit now. Oh, it already feels good to be back just knowing that someone somewhere is going to see this. Hello you! Oh god, it's windy. That is really windy. Sorry about the wind noise, I cannot do anything about it. I cannot control the weather! I wish I could, that'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, I haven't been vlogging for a week, but I've been on the bike every single fucking day. Going to work at half past ten and leaving at seven. Oh my god. That's half past ten at night, seven in the morning. Have you looked out your fucking windows at seven in the morning? It is lethal that early in the morning. Absolutely fucking lethal. And it's raining. Fuck! It hasn't actually rained all week. And the one time I go out on the bike for fun, it rains. Fuck's sake. That's just... Oh, that's a piss take. And we're doing 40 and a 50. It gets worse. But yeah, there's been a few times coming home from work where I've been sideways a lot. A couple of times trying to pull away and just spinning up the back and not moving. It's been fun. But like I said, I've missed vlogging. I've missed you as well, all of you. I haven't missed the weather. I'd rather it was cold and wet rather than cold and raining. But oh, it feels good to be back. It will be a very long time before I take some time off again. By the way, when I said I use this bike every day during the last week, I don't mean for fun. I only went to work and back on it because so much fucking work. The lead up to Christmas killed me at work. I was getting 40 pallets a night, whereas the normal average is 14, so that was painful. And the week after Christmas, fuck me, the, the amount of overstock. The deliveries were tiny because the warehouse was full of stock that didn't get sold before Christmas. And the amount of stuff we had to throw away as well. So much stuff that went out of date. My department, it is acceptable to waste 200 pounds of products per week. That is what is considered acceptable for my department. In two days, right, two days. 3,000 pounds. 3,000 pounds of crap getting thrown away because it was a day out of date. In two days. About 400 pounds were potatoes, which I know for a fact, if you put them in the fridge, they will last an extra week on top of that best before date, at least. But no, we're not allowed to do that because it's got a date on it. It has to be gone out of the shop by that date or it goes in the bin. Literally, it just gets thrown in the bin. Near around 400 pounds of potatoes that were edible got put in the bin. They could have whacked them down to like 5p and sold them to the staff. By the way, I know 400 pounds of potatoes might not seem like a lot, but they were 50p a bag for two and a half kilos. It was a Christmas offer. 50p for two and a half kilos of potatoes. There was 408 bags of the potatoes got thrown away. 408! And that was just Maris Piper potatoes. I'm not counting the rest of the fucking potatoes. I'm not even going to fucking start on them. So the rain got worse. Yeah, I've just picked up Jay Fezzer again. Because it turns out, as I was getting on the bike to go into Hitchin, he rang me saying, do you want to go into Hitchin? I'm like, fuck yes. Good timing, mate. His bike was so fucking dead, you turned the key and the dash didn't even light up. Oh, that 
that second gear power. Oh, yes! Yeah, I shouldn't have worn a tinted visor for this. It's quite dark. Anyway, yeah. At work. Fuck me. It's been hell for the last two weeks. But it's all good. I'm back. I'm on the bike. I'm vlogging again. I've got three days off now because I've got New Year's Eve off. They asked me if I wanted to work New Year's Eve night. My exact response was, <laughs> fuck off. No, seriously. Uh, no. No, I don't want to work. <laughs> so I've got three days off now because I've got my two normal days off afterwards. So I've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which is brilliant. Then I'm doing seven days in a row. But then, then I have a four day weekend. Well, weekend, midweek. I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, hopefully, if all goes well and, every, and they can get someone to cover. Because I worked an extra two days this week. Because all the full-timers only did three days. I did five. So they said I can have two days off whenever I want. Oh my God, it's so wet. I'm moist. And not in a good way. By the way, I have no idea what day I'm going to release this. I might... No, 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 I won't. I was going to say I might edit it tonight or tomorrow. So New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. I'm not going to be editing New Year's Day. Fuck that. I'm going to be dead. If anyone needs me New Year's Day, I'll be in bed, probably with a bowl next to me. Earplugs in, hating life. Because that's how you start the new year. I can't see where I'm going. I don't know if you can. There you go. Oh God, it got worse. I need to buy waterproofs. Holy crap. I can feel it through my levers. Oh, this is, this is bad. On the upside, it might give the bike a bit of a clean because it is fucking minging at the moment. She's a dirty girl. Haven't even had time to clean her for three weeks. I can't see where I'm going again. Fucking hell, come on. The roads haven't been dry in nearly a month now and it's taken its toll on the cleanliness of my bike. I think that was Fabrizio, one of the guys from the bike club. Also, one of the guys that works at Bike Stop in Stevenage, which is fantastic. Because I know him from the bike club, he uh, helps me out with everything. It's where I got all my gear. And no, I didn't pay full price. He's a good bloke. In fact, everyone that works at Bike Stop is a good bloke. I would highly recommend Bike Stop in Stevenage. I went in there and got an ice cream. It was like mid, it was when I was buying these levers. It was like middle of summer, sweating my tits off, trying on all these levers. And one of the guys went out and got ice cream for everyone and just handed one to me. And I'm like, oh my God, I love you. So I think I'm gonna end it here. This has been a fairly random vlog. I think the main point of it has been, I'm back and I'm not going anywhere for quite a while. So guys, I hope you've all had a good new year. I hope 2017 is a fantastic year. 2016 was good, YouTube wise. It, it was fantastic. I mean, my channel grew about 80% extra. I know I've only got 111 subscribers, but I only had about 12, maybe 20 at the start of the year. So it's been a good year, and I thank everyone who stuck around and supported me and just watched my videos. So here's to a new year. I hope it's a good one. I'll catch you all next time.